All right, so congratulations, you've hit level 80 or around there, and you want to gear up as fast as possible for endgame content. And you want to know how to do that. Well, the answer to do that is hunt trains. And I'm going to explain to you exactly how to do this as quickly as possible. So first off, we'll start with basic question. What is a hunt? Well, a hunt is a quest that is accepted via a hunt board in the major cities. This is an example of a hunt board. This resets once per week, or I'm sorry, these reset daily, and then you have a big elite that resets once per week. What you can do is you can, so this is unlocked through a very long quest chain, by the way. So I don't remember how to do the quest chain. I just remember it was very long. You'll have to Google how to do it in order to unlock these if you want. But when you get here, you can click the board and it will tell you which low level trash mob creatures you can go out and kill. It will tell you exactly where the mob is located and also what rewards you get for killing the mob. Once you accept it, you get this little piece of paper that you can keep around with you. And then once you kill the mob, you get the reward for it. I don't recommend doing this because this the rewards are pretty crap. These rewards are really, really low and they're pretty bad. Instead, what I would recommend you do is a hunt train. So in these hunts, you're told to kill trash mobs, but these are not the only mobs that give you rewards. There are different ranks of world spawn mobs in the entire in the game. You have these tra trash mobs, which is what you're told to kill. You have B rank mobs, A rank, S rank, and SS ranks. What we're interested in are the A ranks. S ranks don't really spawn that often, so there's no such thing as an S rank train, and SS ranks are even more rare, and they can only spawn after an S rank is killed. There'll be more on that at the end of this video. But what we're interested in are called A rank trains. So a little bit more information on what A rank mobs are. There are six zones in Norvrant, which is the Shadowbringers expansion, and each zone spawns two a rank creatures they can spawn at random times and they're generally in certain locations killing those a ranks reap great rewards in the form of different types of currency such as sacks of nuts tombstones of revelation tombstones of allegory and tombstones of poetics you also get an item called cracked stella clusters that can be exchanged for materia the way that we find these A rank mobs are through scouts. These are players that have volunteered to fly around the zones, find the mobs, and record the coordinates. Once the coordinates of all 12 A ranks are known, that information is then shared with a trained conductor, who will then use the coordinates to direct the players to the different spawns. The way that you get information and become part of a train is to join the Discord channel. So what you do is you go to Google and you search for Aether Hunts Discord. If you're on Primal or Crystal, I don't know what it is. I'm on Aether, so that's what you would search for. And you join this Discord channel. The Discord channel will guide you through the process of getting all of this set up. But what you're looking for is under Hunt Reaction Roles. You want to react to S rank and Train. Make sure that your notifications are enabled for this. This way you can get notified whenever a train is starting. A conductor will post an announce in the train announcement channel when a train is going to take off. So the information within the post will include what in where the what world this is going to be on, the starting location, which is typically either Fort Job or the Austal Imperative and how long until the train departs. It's usually five minutes starting in, in five. So once you know what world the train is being conducted on, you have to go and visit that world. If you're not sure how to change worlds, what you do is you go back to your one of you, to your main city, which you can do this in Limsa Lominsa, Gridania, or Ulda. Once you're there, you go to the big Aetherite in the main plaza, right-click it, 
and then click visit another world server. Once you do that, you just select the world that you were told to select from the Discord channel. We'll just pretend we're going to go over to Ferry. Once you've teleported to the world, you want to go ahead and listen to a concert. And then after you've listened to the concert, go ahead and teleport to wherever they told you the train was going to start. Most often it's going to be in Lakeland Fort Job. So I'll just go ahead and teleport there now. This is not a live train. This is just what you would do if a train is being announced. Once you're here, you want to select your class that you're going to do the train with. You can do this on any class. If you're going to be a DPS class to do this, make sure you're actually dealing damage. You can't just like right click on the mob and auto attack and then go grab a soda or something. If you're lazy, you might not get full credit for the kill. If you're being, uh, if you're going to want to play this as a tank, what you want to do is use any ability that generates animity. So like Unmend, for example, if you're a Dark Knight. This way you can keep your threat up, which will increase your likelihood or will make sure that you and your party will get full credit for the spawn. If you want to play a healer to do this, what you would do is use your AoE healing abilities as much as possible. This way you can make sure that you get full credit for the kill. Now that you're here, you picked your class. Next thing you need to do is group up. You cannot do this alone. You will not get full credit. So in order to group up, you want to use the party finder. You can also shout looking for a group for the train and then some, uh, somebody can invite you. But most of the time, you just want to use the party finder. It's very easy to do. Wherever you've placed your main buttons, uh, I don't even know what you want to call these. Click the party button, which looks like this little flag here, and then select party finder. From this screen, these are the different categories of uh, content that you can do with parties. You want to select this one called the hunt. And once the hunt is starting, you're going to see a bunch of options here. And you just click one and you join it, and then you'll be part of the party. You don't have to talk to anyone if you don't want to talk to anyone, but you have to be grouped in order to ensure that you get maximum rewards and that you are given appropriate contribution for each kill. If you're here and there are no party, there are no parties in the party finder, you could just go ahead and make one. It's really easy. You just click this button here that says recruit members. And then for the duty, you would select the hunt. That's it. You don't have to select anything else. You don't have to mess with any of this other stuff. And you would just click recruit. Then your party will be there. Other players will see this and will join your party. So that is how you start the hunt. I'm going to end this video here. And I'm going to make another video and try to splice it into this one when a hunt actually starts. So you can see a hunt from beginning to end. After the train is over, we'll talk about the rewards a little bit, and then I'll also give you some other information about S ranks and SS ranks. Cheers.